guys, so today I'm filming a short but I think fun video. I posted a selfie on Instagram and I was wearing a plaid shirt and I was like, in my mind it's already fall. And I guess it's just a shameless little plug for me to follow me on Instagram if you're not following me already. But I basically said that I had a fall 2015 bucket list and I had a list of things that I wanted to do and I got a lot of comments of people asking me to do a video about my fall bucket list and I figured that'd be a fun idea because that way if I have missed or left out anything on my fall bucket list, I can add it and you guys can let me know what's on your fall bucket list. I mean, this is not like a life bucket list or anything. I don't really have one of those. It's just a list of things that I'd like to do during fall. And I feel like fall, it comes and it goes so quickly. And it's really my favorite time of year. And I know that every girl says that, like that they love fall. And it's funny because I was watching this comedian. Her name is, I think like Eliza Scheisenberg or something. I'll post a link or like her name down below. The comedy show I watched was called Freezing Hot. And it's basically just, it was making fun of girls in fall. And I just thought it was so funny. I wanted to put a clip in here, but I don't know if I'll be able to, but it's like girls are like pumpkin everything. Like it's true, like pumpkin spice gum, really? It's crazy because I make fun of all this pumpkin stuff. But then when I go to the States and there's pumpkin spice, you know, lubricant, I'm all about that. But uh, imagine there probably is. Anyway. So my fall bucket list 2015 is basically just a list for me to look to have. It's kind of meant to remind me to do things because I always have the same list every year pretty much and I always forget to do things because fall comes and goes so quickly but this way I have a list so I'll be able to look at it and be like okay this is what we're doing this so, weekend. First off, um, apple picking and pumpkin picking. That's the classic. Mike and I went apple picking really late last year when there was like no good apples left. I think we went October 20th. I have a picture and I'd like to go before like all the good apples are gone and I'd like to pick some pumpkins. I love the Cinderella pumpkins and that kind of ties into go on a hayride and also drink hot apple cider because last year the farm we went to did not have hot apple cider so I'd really like to drink hot apple cider this year because it's my favorite with no alcohol I just I love apple cinnamon stuff so I'd love to drink hot apple cider uh, find a haunted house a couple of years ago I went to a really amazing haunted house in Ontario they didn't do the haunted house last year but I'm gonna see if they're doing it this year or I'm gonna find a haunted house that's not too far from Montreal if you have any suggestions I don't want to go to the ones downtown. I like going to like the one I went to a couple of years ago. It was on like this huge farm, and it started off in a really haunted, like an old house, like an old farmhouse. And then you walk through the forest. Like it was like a kilometer through a bus, like trailers. It was insane. It was amazing. But they didn't do it last year, which is a shame. But I don't want to go to the ones downtown. Like for me, it's scarier to be like in the middle of nowhere. And if you guys know me, oh, that reminds me, I'm gonna do a must see, like my favorite horror movies for the month of October because I know that I want to have a scary movie marathon so I'm gonna list out my favorite movies for you guys okay so that's the next one scary movie marathon honestly I've seen probably every scary movie from Nosferatu to like the what's the one that sinister 2 which sucked but I have seen so many scary movies but I do want to have a scary movie marathon so also let me know your favorite scary movies down below I'd love to see them if I haven't already and like I said I will be doing like my top 10 scary movies because I'm sure you guys want to have scary movie marathons too around Halloween and I think it's a really fun idea so I'm gonna do that video soon also I want to go on a hike I want to go to a football game I go to a lot of hockey games because Mike plays hockey but I do want to go to like a football game in the fall I think that'd be really nice the next one is rake and jump in leaves and I told my friend Tristan this and she's like, yes, my girl, Allie raking. I'm not gonna lie, this one's more for like the Insta, but I mean, I don't really, like my bucket list isn't to rake, but I haven't jumped in leaves in forever, so I'd like to jump in leaves. The next one is find a corn maze. I've never been in a corn maze and I think that'd be really fun, so find a corn maze. The next one might be a little bit more difficult and I'm gonna need some cooperation from Mike, but the next one is to watch a scary movie outside. And I was reading some things online and they're like, go to like a field and and lay a blanket down and watch a movie on your computer. Hmm. I mean, it's gonna be good because the like the bugs aren't out when it's really cold. Um, I don't know. Like maybe like get like a little kiddie pool and you know put blankets and pillows inside and then watch that outside like under the stars. I'd like to do that. The next one is to visit Vermont. I love Vermont. My best friend Sierra used to go to school in Vermont. Now she goes to a different school. Sadly, she's so far from me. Like <laughs> I'm gonna I miss her being in Vermont, but visit Vermont. It's beautiful in the fall. It's beautiful all year round, but especially in the fall. The next one is to tour a winery or a brewery. I don't like wine or beer, but I think it'd be really nice to go to the country and just, you know, tour a winery or brewery. And the next one is to get a couple's massage. This is just like an, uh, something I want to do, but it's just something to remind me to do it because Mike and I, we always like make these big plans in our heads and then when it comes time to like, what do you want to do? We're like, oh, I don't know. 
Ugh, but this way, my fall bucket list, I have it so I can check things off and I can remember that I want to do things. So with that said, that is what was on my fall bucket list, but let me know what's on your fall bucket list or if there's anything you think I should add to mine. I'm lucky to live in a place that is beautiful during the fall. It comes and goes so quick that I definitely want to, you know, actually do things this fall. So let me know what's on your fall bucket list or if there's anything you think I should add to mine. I hope you guys like this video and I'm going to try, if I, as I do these things, I'm going to try and film them and then I'll do like a montage at the end of fall or whatever. So with that said, let me know what's on your fall bucket list. I'd love to know. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye. This little bottom compartment and then once you twist it on this part 